Hello guys, what is up? It is Cameron back once again bringing you guys a new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Power DVD 16, which is a software from Cyberlink. I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Cyberlink and Power DVD. So huge thanks to them for supporting the channel and letting me take a look at their software early before it's released on the market. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look, an overview, and kind of like a brief review of Power DVD 16, which is their newest software. Like I said, I got to take a look at it early before it was actually released on the market so I want to show you guys all the different features and aspects of the software because honestly it's a really solid software and it has a lot of different benefits that you can use so let's go ahead and jump right into the video and I'll show you power DVD 16 all right, so as you can see, I do have Power DVD 16 open and running on my computer. Um, this is the landing screen that you're going to be greeted with as soon as you open it up. It gives you the option to use PC mode or TV mode. Now, PC mode is the classic experience that they've had on other other softwares, but TV mode is more of a cinema experience where you can view things in like your living room. It's kind of made for your TV. Um, so I'm going to show you PC mode, and then I'll show you TV mode right after that. So as soon as you boot into TV mode, the first thing that you're going to notice is the UI. Now, the UI personally for me is what makes this software. It looks so clean and so sleek. Um, I'm just a huge fan of it. Really, everything looks aesthetically pleasing, and I really have no complaints. It's honestly one of the best looking like DVD softwares that I've ever used. So honestly, huge fan of the UI and the look just because it's easy to navigate and it just looks amazing. Now on the side, you're going to get access to all your different file types. You can see we have movies and, D and TV. This is where you can organize all your DVDs and libraries and stuff of movies. Um, we also have your video library, which I really like because it lays out all your different files um, that you may have on your computer. And then it also gives you the number of different files inside of that folder. So it looks really nice uh, and you can easily see everything. It kind of just lays everything out very nicely in front of you and you can choose um, to filter them through listing or through a calendar view or through a folder view. I personally like the folder view the best, but it just looks really, really, really nice. Um, it also does the same thing for your uh, photos, so you can view photos in here as well, as well as listen to music. Um, it lays everything out very nicely right there. You also have access to Cyberlink Cloud, which is their cloud storage software. I think you get 30 gigabytes free when you get this software. Um, so it's very nice. You can store things. Uh, this is, it functions like Dropbox, where you put everything in there, and then you can access it on different devices. Um, so very, very neat. Also, you can access folder different folders on your computer to use things through there. And then it also gives you different playlists, so I could add stuff to my top rated, which is where I could just rate files inside of my movies, photos, or music, and it'll pop up here. And then it has like literally all my files laid out right here, and they're recently added. You can also use YouTube on here, which is pretty cool. Um, it has a YouTube thing where you can sign in, you can view your subscriptions, you can make playlists, um, you can look at your own videos, or like I have it right here, you can just look at the most viewed videos. So pretty, pretty cool they have that, and they also have Vimeo that you can use on there. So that's awesome. Now, one thing that's really good about Cyberlink is it plays really any file type that you might have. Um, let's see, I think right here I have a WMV file. So all I have to do Hello is guys, click on what this is up and it's it'll boot it up. Doesn't have any problem there. Um, if I come over here, I think that I have an MOV file right here, and this one also the same thing. Plays perfect, no problem right there. Um, and then finally, if I come down here, I think that I have a MP4. Plays this, no problem. And also, finally, I have a DVD. So let's boot this up gonna take one second because my DVD drive in my computer is kind of slow it's not the best uh, and it also plays this no problem so yeah it really plays any file type that you may want um, and honestly you, you I have no problems haven't had any file type that it hasn't played which is really really good also down here you're gonna get some different settings um, some of the really cool things is you can change the UI on this they have a lot of different cool really high quality pictures you can change a lot of settings with the media libraries and stuff like that these are all a little bit more advanced, um, and you can just kind of take a look through them when you do get the software, but it really gives you a lot of customization when it comes to video enhancement, audio enhancement, and just overall the experience of watching videos. So, very, very clean on the PC side. Haven't had any complaints while using this software. I really cannot complain. Um, they're this classic, you know, 
power DVD functions really really well now I want to swap over and show you guys the TV mode so what you do is you come up here to TV mode click on this and it will allow you to swap over to TV mode so I'm gonna hit continue and this is where you're gonna get the new experience which is made kind of for like viewing media on your TV and it gives you a more cinematic experience alright so now we're using the new TV mode and what is really unique about this is just the simplicity of it and the way everything's laid out um, they have a completely different UI on here and it's made really for a good cinematic experience but my favorite thing is just the simplicity of it and how easy it is to navigate through and find what you're looking for. As you can see, it has all the folders like the other version does. Um, you can click into them, navigate through them very easily um, without any problems. And it's just very simple, very clean, very easy to access, and very easy to you know sort through all your different content that you may have on your computer. So honestly, me being slightly OCD and like enjoying everything to be very clean and sleek, this is very, very nice for me. I love this. Just because, I mean, the UI looks amazing. Um, the navigation is very, very simple, um, but it is effective, and you're able to navigate and find anything that you may be looking for. Now, one of the things that they really boast is that they do offer Chromecast, Roku, and Apple TV streaming, I think as well as a couple different ones. But as you can see, if I right-click on a file and go to Play 2, I have a lot of different options right here to stream to these devices. So you can see I have Apple TVs and Rokus and Google Chromecast and stuff. Um, I actually have mine right here. And if I click on this, it will begin to stream it to my Chromecast, which is in the living room. Um, and once it plays that, it'll be on my TV out there. But uh, it's really, really unique because it lets you stream right from the app. So you don't have to like, you know, download any plugins or anything like that. It's all right here. And you can stream it directly through the app to your TV. So it's very, very cool. Um, and it allows you to swap in between TVs. Like if I'm on my computer and I want to go watch a TV show or continue watching something, well, I can just go ahead and you know throw it up on the Chromecast in the living room and keep watching it you know from my computer so it's very very cool um, I honestly that's one of my favorite parts because sometimes I've been watching videos and then all of a sudden I want to go sit on the couch or something just throw it up on the Chromecast and I can continue watching it out there without sitting at my desk now another thing that Cyberlink does offer that kinda makes their TV mode even better is going to be their power DVD remote now what this allows you to do is control the actual app from your phone so what you can do is sit back on your couch or at your desk and actually control this application from your phone what I mean by that is you can scroll through all the menus using your smartphone it acts as a remote um, you can even use it as a mouse which means that you can like scroll your finger around the touch screen and it kind of operates as like a touch pad would on your laptop and you can click on stuff type stuff really do everything you'd be able to do on your computer and mouse with your phone so what this allows you to do is kick back on your couch or just kick back in your chair at your desk and not have to worry about typing stuff on your computer or like moving a mouse or anything like that all you have to do is use your smartphone so it's really awesome it's available for the iPhone and the Android and really kind of makes the TV mode even a better experience alright guys so overall I think power DVD 16 is a really solid software I've always been one to just use the default Windows you know viewer but honestly I'm I'm going to make the full switch over and start using Power DVD 16 for all my viewing experiences when I watch movies or play back my videos or anything. I'm going to start using Power DVD just because I think it's a superior software. Honestly, it's so sleek and clean. It's very easy for me to use and I honestly enjoy it more. And that's me being 100% for real. I really enjoy this software. I think it's very easy to use, um, very aesthetically pleasing, and overall just a solid software. So if you're interested in checking it out, visit the link in the description down below. I'll put a link down there where you can find their website and check it out further and decide if you want to purchase it. Honestly, me, I think it's great, but that's just my personal opinion. You could check it out for yourself more in the description down below. So follow that to visit their website and view it more. But anyways, guys, Thanks for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like my content. I upload product reviews, unboxing videos, and just a lot of other stuff. So subscribe if you like that. Uh, also leave me some feedback down below, and then leave a uh, thumbs up if you're feeling generous today. But anyways, thanks for watching, hope you did enjoy, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.